tell me you saw Doctor Who last night. That was that was one of the greatest things I've ever seen. And they're exploring that that petrified jungle, and then you know getting sick gradually. But then and then they, the Doctor manipulated them because he wanted to explore that the, the, the that unknown city, and they're exploring through there. Barbara got lost, and and oh man, I don't know what that thing that that that, that thing that's confronting her is, but man. I've never been, I've never been more excited in my life to see. Oh man, next week it's going to be so hype. Okay, people didn't say it's going to be so hype in 1964, but the equivalent of. The Daleks as a serial holds up as quite a strong one, probably one of the better during the first Doctor slash William Hartnell run. It's fair to say that the presence of the Daleks, the Daleks being the focus of a Doctor Who serial, tends to elevate it to one of the better in whatever season or um, era Doctor it, it, it is amongst. With the exception of maybe, and the, the, the chase is somewhat so-so, and there are issues definitely with um, Destiny of the Daleks, but other than those two, I think every other of the Dalek storylines is really a very strong one. And, and we'll see the merits of the, the weak ones when we get to them anyway, I, I imagine. Just to speak very generally here about this seven-part serial um, now is my memories of having viewed it in the past. It's a strong serial, although obviously the focal point of the serial is the Daleks and nothing more than the Daleks, and it's just kind of circling around them and that amazing iconic design and how popular they were as as the, as soon as it was broadcast. You know, obviously this this episode was I think was apparently had letters pouring into the producers, and then the second episode you can only imagine the Daleks becoming this overnight sensation in the United Kingdom in each subsequent episode. You know, everyone's excited to see it and, you know, talking about it the next day at the office or at the schoolyard would be phenomenal. And so naturally they were trying to just, you know, they are just exploiting the presence of these creatures designed by R Raymond Cusick. He probably just designed them as an afterthought thinking, oh, bloody hell, these things look stupid for this silly show. It was just a job to him. He didn't think of it as art. As art. And yet they're the most iconic robotic design and to enemy design maybe ever aside from maybe something in star wars or star trek it's really quite quite phenomenal and this first episode is a really strong one when we forget that this is a dalek oriented serial and take this first episode as its own as a piece of tension and as a piece of um television production it, it's quite stellar actually in my opinion i think it speaks for itself although the the jungle the petrified jungle, and then the, the architecture of the, the production of the city, very, very strong. And the performances, Hartnell, Russell, Hill, and Ford also do quite well here, I think. The final shot of this episode, the cliffhanger, possibly Doctor Who's most iconic of all of all cliffhangers, except, except maybe Dalek Invasion of Earth, actually. This cliffhanger would have been so horrifying. And I think you had no, you had no idea it was coming up. You had no idea what to expect. The, the series hadn't presented anything with this level of kind of immediate danger up to this point and I can imagine television in general. And here's the thing, subconsciously it reminds one of a sexual assault and I think that's part of the reason it's so horrifying and affecting, really. One of the most influential pieces of media in history, the Doctor Who serial, the Daleks. I mean, one just take this serial out of history. Science fiction history might be very different. We have the, at least in the context of the United Kingdom, I mean, science fiction develops probably fairly well anyway in the United States if the novels like Dune um, later in the decade, 65, not very long after the development of, of Star Trek. Would Star Trek have taken off if Doctor Who had ta hadn't taken off in the UK? That's an interesting question. And if Star Trek hadn't taken off, there'd be no Star Wars eventually, and, if, 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 and no science fiction in the 70s in general possibly. And if Star Wars hadn't have taken off, well, the world would be a very different place. The Daleks are an interesting point in history. If we take them out, a lot changes. If we take Quatermass out of history, a lot changes. And I brought this back to Nigel Neal, inevitably. That's all I've got to say here, really. Thanks, everyone. Do view the next entry, if you are so inclined.